Now let's talk about the Embraer ERJ-90 jet. Just kidding, this is actually the Mitsubishi space jet, which is a whole nother different thing. And yeah, this plane is pretty similar to the ERJ-90. But no, this is actually a Mitsubishi plane. And a lot of people are surprised about the fact that Mitsubishi is planning on making a plane, which is this one. But actually, Mitsubishi has quite a long story of aviation. You know, they have already made a lot of fighter jets and some turboprop airliners. And now, the space jet, or also called MRJ, as you can tell on the livery. Now, how should we begin the Mitsubishi space jet? It's supposed to be more of a regional airliner. It is pretty much a Japanese Embraer ERJ-90. You cannot really lie about that. They serve the same market, which is the regional airliner market, and they look very, very similar. I think I've already said that. Now, this plane is not some kind of future fairy tale or anything. This is actually a real thing, not just a concept. There have been real models of MRJs flying in real life. Actually, the first space jet made its first flight in 2015. And yes, Mitsubishi is planning to introduce this plane in just one year, in 2021. So yeah, now as you can see, we're an FSX, so we don't really have the best add-on. We cannot really review the plane. We cannot really go that deep into the plane. For example, I cannot show you the cockpit that much because there is pretty much none here, but the cockpit in the space jet is going to be very modern, very modern avionics, definitely. And this plane does kind of fly like an ERJ, no, no front, but yeah. Now, yes, even though Mitsubishi is kind of on the low-key end of being known as an aviation manufacturer, they still can do things properly. And they're not like a Chinese or Russian fake jet, definitely not. For example, they are using Pratt & Whitney jet engines, pretty modern ones as well. And they have worked with a lot of Western engineers and stuff, which is actually the reason some Western carriers have already ordered this plane. Talking about orders, there haven't been that many actually. There have only been around 100 or 200 orders so far, which is only medium good. You know, especially when we compare it to the 737 Max or something. The Max just definitely had a lot more. Let's do a little barrel roll to, to destroy our avionics or something. Now, the majority of the orders of this plane so far came from Japanese carriers like All Nippon. You know, All Nippon is the national carrier. But as you can tell by the American flag on the livery here, there have also been some American carriers operating this plane, but only low-key ones. For example, SkyWest have ordered this plane, also Mesa Airlines, and some charter airlines as well. Let's try landing this one. We are super duper fast. Something has definitely gone wrong here. Let's do a little bit of an emergency landing. Now, as I've already said, this plane is definitely going to compete against the ERJ lineup. For example, the space jet is $10 million cheaper than the Embraer. And I mean, it cannot be worse than the Max, right? Right? I mean, it does not have MCAS, so, you know. And this add-on aircraft is definitely unusable. Praise the Lord. Okay, I've seen worse ones. <laughs> Actually, have I? I don't think so. Let's stop, though. Yeah, I think I broke the nose landing wheel, but that's a whole nother story. Now, let's answer a very, very important question. Is this plane able to fly at Lukla, or at least depart out of Lukla? This is something that we always test about airliners. Is it Lukla proof? Now, for a Lukla, you need to be able to make a 180 degree turn, which can be an issue for some... Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go ahead and do a full power takeoff. What do we have to lose other than an aircraft that is not even released yet? Like, this might actually work. And it worked. This plane might might actually be Lukla proof. Uh oh. Definitely uh, Lukla proof. We have a very, very stable flight, right? <laughs> now, what can we say about the future of this plane? Is it going to take over the market of regional airliners? Is it going to destroy the company of Embraer? Most probably not. But Mitsubishi has proven to be quite a good aviation company. You know, all their other airliners they made were pretty successful as well. Also, the military aircraft 
Minecraft were quite successful. At least they didn't seem to be that bad. And yeah, I like the ERJ lineup by Embraer as well. And this is basically just a more modern ERJ, even though the ERJ lineup is pretty new as well. So that cannot be bad either. You know, Mitsubishi is never bad, even though they do a lot of stuff. Don't they also make like air conditioners and stuff? I don't know. As long as the plane flies, it flies, right? You know, unlike the map, that's kind of all that counts. And this plane seems to be able to fly. It has already made some flights in real life. So I'm kind of confident that Mitsubishi might have a success there. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.